upcoming K-dramas 2024. Can you believe the year is almost over? We were certainly treated and entertained by so many incredible dramas this year. But what's in store for us in 2024? Stick around for this list. Number 1. Queen of Tears Marriage at times can be a real challenge, but through love and hard work, a couple can definitely persevere. Our female lead is an heiress of the powerful Queen's Group department store. The drama gives us a background of a business setting, but also romance and melodrama. But with the dramatics aside, it may also surprise viewers by giving us a funny love story of our main married couple who overcome challenges and differences of life while surviving a crisis together, which might bring them closer together. Fan favorite celebs Kim Soo-hyun and Kim Ji-won will be our OTP. Number 2. You Have Done Well, starring IU and Park Bo Gum. Two stars with exceptional visuals. Viewers can't wait to see their on-screen chemistry. Our female lead at times is so positive and upbeat, although she does have a rebellious side. However, with that bold attitude, she always makes her intentions known. Meanwhile, our male lead is more gentle and soft-spoken, but he's so extremely in love with her and does his best to be her rock. By exhibiting his careful attention and care for her, as we watch our female lead chase her dream, You Have Done Well is a melodrama and also a romantic slice of life story, giving us two timeline periods. This drama may also give us a second chance at romance. Number 3. Murder Diary here we have another webtoon adaptation coming in 2024, where our male lead gets into a situation with a customer at his part-time job in a convenience store. Unfortunately, the customer dies in an altercation, and our male lead is filled with guilt. But he soon discovers that customer was a serial killer. Our male lead will also realize he has a unique ability in finding the bad seeds among others. He'll rise up as a dark hero who will take out punishment on those who commit serious crimes. Cheu Shik, Song Suk Koo, and Lee Hee Joon are some stars who we will see on our screens in Murder Diary. This thrilling supernatural is scheduled to air in 2024. Number 4. Goodbye Earth Based on the novel Shimatsu no Furu, where some individuals are aware of an asteroid heading toward Earth that will end mankind. Knowing this dire circumstance will have some of our characters in the utmost despair, but also some will keep having hope. Goodbye Earth is also known as the fool at the end of the world and stars Yua In and Anun Jin. This 12-episode drama is a psychological thriller and has themes of sci-fi. Due to an actor controversy surrounding Yua In, some setbacks have been expected. Number 5. A Shop for Killers The Disney Plus K-drama, also known as Killer's Shopping Mall, is based on the popular novel known as Murderer's Shopping Mall. This miniseries will give us a stellar cast, which includes Lee dong Wook, Kim Hye-joon, and So Hyun Woo, also Park Ji Bin, our young female lead lost her parents, and is now an orphan. However, she was raised by her uncle, who happens to run a shopping mall warehouse. But our young lead may have to make customers aware about her uncle's death if the plot sticks close to the novel. The drama promises action and thrilling suspense. Number 6. The Trunk an upcoming Netflix K-drama, Trunk will showcase a fixed-term marriage agency, our female lead, who is the head of this agency, which happens to partner up clients with their ideal and dream spouses. Our male lead, played by Gong Yu, is a music producer, albeit our leads might personally both not be focused on marriage ideals in their own personal lives as their careers are centered in this industry. While building the foundations of lasting love for others, our female lead's preference is just to stay solo, where our male lead has his own particular views on marriage in general. The drama is adapted from a novel under the same name, and its genre brings us romance, melodrama, and even mystery. So Hyung Jin will star as our female lead. Number 7. Queen Wu A political historical, Queen Wu stars Ji Chung-wook, 
Kim Yo and Jung Jung So. When the current king dies, a fierce power struggle between tribes on sets to crown the next ruler. It depicts the story of Lady Wu, the first person in history to be crowned queen twice. During the Goguryeo dynasty time period, the drama gives us a strong female lead and is set against the backdrop of palace politics. Based around actual history, Queen Wu is an action melodrama which has landed on many anticipated watch lists for fans and viewers of the historical genre. Number 8. Mr. Plankton No, this is not the plankton from Bikini Bottom you might be thinking of when you hear the word plankton. Instead, here we have people who live plankton-like lives, but psst, not the plotting domination kind. Those who are overlooked and maybe feel empty, they cannot easily blend in or find a sense of belonging with others. We'll follow one man who appears just to be on a path alone, and no one has told him to just stay with them, especially where romance is concerned. This could also be due to being emotionally unavailable. Wu Do Hwan has been cast in the leading role opposite our female lead, Iyumi. Mr. Plankton is a rom-com drama that we are sure will charm viewers with its simple love story. Number 9. Queen of the Scene Desperate times call for desperate measures. A drama writer is well established in the industry for extreme mokshang drama writing, with many extreme twists, will escalate to the point where she'll find herself trapped within her own story. She'll encounter the best of mokshang as she tries to find her way back to reality and out of the drama fantasy. She's a writer with a big imagination, so this should be a piece of cake for her, right? Our beloved Gong Hyo Jin stars as our female lead, so we know she'll perfectly deliver this type of character as we've enjoyed her performances in so many standout roles. Number 10, Hierarchy, a Netflix drama with a bright and talented youthful cast. Hierarchy will bring us a teen drama that follows the day-to-day -day of our leading characters, focusing on those youthful moments, especially love and jealousy, of high school students. Backed up by a school setting, it showcases the top 0.01% within the school. The Netflix drama has seven episodes, will follow a transfer student, and also an heiress. Our female lead is quite popular. We also have a determined male lead. The talented young cast is sure to deliver strong performances in hierarchy, where the name itself calls upon rank and status. Number 11, Wedding Impossible. Jeon Jung Seo and Moon Sung Min star in this webtoon adapted rom com, Wedding Impossible, where our male lead, who happens to be gay, is also a chevalier, and our female lead, a hopeful actress, will soon find themselves in orchestrating a fake marriage. All while, his younger bro will step in and try to shake things up between them, especially regarding their relationship. The drama brings us a hidden identity along with a marriage of convenience, with only 12 episodes and produced by TVN. Viewers are looking forward to this webtoon adaptation. Number 12. Aquaman Adapted from a popular webtoon, and not to be confused with another Aquaman. We follow the misadventures of our male lead. He begins to get involved in his friend's dating life. His best friend is always in a relationship. Not to mention the mass amounts of confessions through the course of 365 days. Generally speaking, the drama focuses around their friendship and gives us a youthful adventure in Aquaman. The young cast star, Young Hun Sok, Jung Woo Jin, Lee So Hee, along with Shin So Hyun. Fans of the webtoon will be looking forward to seeing how their favorite characters translate into this live action adaptation. Number 13, The Trauma Code. Also known as Golden Hour, it's adapted from a web novel. Ju Ji Hoon and Chu Young Woo are cast as our main leads in this medical drama, where a trauma surgeon who is extremely skilled and has experienced working in many conflicted worldwide medical zones and will now lead a team at a university hospital. Financial burdens arise as more patients are saved. This will lead to some internal pressures. However, the integrity and the goals of this team in this field, which is to save lives, is inspiring.
Number 14, Influenza. Another novel adaptation is getting the K-drama treatment. Influenza is an anticipated 2024 drama with elements of thriller and romantic fantasy. Did we also mention zombies? Our main couple go through a breakup, but also they'll soon encounter a world turned upside down. Our male lead was maybe a little too obsessed with his girlfriend, so he initiated a breakup. He's also a soldier who will gain more confidence and become quite the action star while battling the zombies. Our female lead too will become stronger. Despite receiving the notification of the breakup, she will fight for her survival until perhaps they meet again. And despite the whole zombie apocalypse thing surrounding them, they might try and work things out. Influenza stars Park Jung Min and Kim Ji Soo. Number 15, Plaza Wars. Mystery and crime drama based on the webtoon Plaza Wars, where the desire for truth has one man rising up to find out what happened. As the strongest fighter around, an intense battle victory quiets the power struggle, and one bro takes a drastic step to move aside as his brother is in an opposing gang. Years later, his brother is ambushed and dies. With revenge in mind, and now fueling his rage, our male lead will hunt down everyone involved in his brother's death. However, old rivalries might come into play, starring Ong Young and Soji Sub. The drama focuses on the relationship of brothers and the bond that it carries. Bonus! Most anticipated upcoming new drama seasons. All of Us Are Dead, Season 2. Squid Game Season 2 Yongsung Creature Season 2 Sweet Home Season 3 Week Hero Class 2 And that wraps our list. Can you think of any K-dramas coming up in 2024 that should have been on this list? You can let us know in the comment section down below. Which ones are you looking forward to the most?